Um, hello to all my subscribers. Um, before I start this video, uh, I want to I want to talk about the um, 7.1 um, magnitude um, earthquake that shook Southern California. Um, it, it, I think it was I think it started in um, Kern County. Current County, California, and um, and it was felt, it was felt in Los Angeles, and in Baja California, in Mexico. So this was a pretty strong earthquake. Um, I'm from California, by the way, and I'm no stranger to earthquakes. Um, felt one when I was little. I was sleeping in a bed. Um in a house on a, a military base called Camp Pendleton Military Base. Um, my dad was stationed there. He was in the military. Um, lived in this house with my, with, with my, with my mother, sister, brother, and myself. Um, I was sleeping in the bed. I think uh, an earthquake kind of woke me up. It was a, it was a little minor earthquake. It just like, you know, just felt some little shaking and then some then some very strong vibrations, you know. And kinda scared me, but you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been through been yeah, I've been through an earthquake. <laughs> and yeah, people from other states thinking that earthquakes happen all the time in California. Um that's not true. They don't happen a lot. I mean, they happen like every now and then, but not all the time. Okay. Um. Speaking of California and speaking of Los Angeles, um, there was this radio station that I used to listen to called um, KFI AM six forty, and the slogan of it was more stimulating talk radio but they changed it to just more more stimulating or something like that um i don't listen to this radio station anymore it's just basically a bunch of um a bunch of people a bunch of assholes just like just bashing poor people in los angeles and you got people on there who think they're a-list celebrities and <laughs> They think they're so famous. I mean, all they are just a bunch of local nobodies. I mean, a lot of these people on this radio station are, are never are never been heard for have never been heard about by other people in other states. Um, I think on this radio station you got Bill Handel, John and Ken, Gary and Shannon. Yeah, those people. Yeah. I think Gary and Shannon are a bunch of assholes, you know. I think I think uh, I think one sound bite on that station, some guy did an impression and Gary and Shannon turned around and just ripped this guy apart and just tore him to pieces by bashing him. Yeah. And Bill Handel's an a-hole, I mean, he has two shows, one uh, one um I think one show him just this one show just called Bill Handel, I guess, and he has a show on the weekends called um Handle on the Law where Handle on the Law where he gives legal advice to people. Yeah. This guy won't listen to a word that any of these people are saying on both of his shows. Like Law just hang up. Like it's just crazy. Well, don't let these people talk and he talked about oh what they're saying is so boring like you got two shows on the radio like I mean I don't know if this guy's just being a jerk or he's just doing it just, just to just to get ratings but yeah KFI is the most listened radio station in in the greater Los Angeles area yeah um also in the, in this video that I'm, that I'm making right now, this video is about one person who 
who is on KFI. Um, she's on there on on um, well, it's a woman, and she's on there on um sun on on every Sunday mornings, and I and I used to listen to her, and her name is Elizabeth Espinosa, and her full name is Rose Elizabeth Espinosa, and I found something about her on Wikipedia. So I'll just read so I'll just read something about her. It's not that much about her at all. Okay. Rose Elizabeth Espinosa is a former news reporter for KTLA Channel 5 in Los Angeles. Okay, it goes into her biography. Prior to joining KTLA, she was one of the correspondence for Good Morning LA on KTTV. She also reported for KMEX and for XETV San Diego and has presented weekly movie reviews segments on the Fox Morning Show. From February of 2014 until October of 2015, she co-hosted a two-hour early afternoon program on KFI with Mark Thompson. A Los Angeles native, she received a Bachelor of Science degree from UCLA in 1997, Pier Beta Kappa, and speaks five languages. Does it explain uh, how many, what the five languages she speaks? Um, English is one of them, but the other but but the other languages are not brought up okay she has traveled to uganda and rwanda where she interviewed child warriors and to pakistan to interview women about arranged marriages in the islamic also and purse war and al qaeda stronghold she reported about disabled and abandoned children in El Salvador. She has a brother who is who is who is who is developmentally delayed and nonverbal. Uh, let me read this again. She has a brother who is developmentally delayed and nonverbal, meaning that um he he's he's autistic, or or oh, yes. Or he has some, or he has some, um, or he has some um, um, elements of, of of autism. In his honor, in his honor, she has become an advocate for the rights of the disabled, and helps community groups and nonprofit organizations such as Ability First and H O L A Heart of Los Angeles, Espinosa along with former television weather forecast Mark Thomas, hosted an afternoon talk show on KFI AM640 in Los Angeles. Following the program's cancellation, Espinosa began hosting the Sunday morning news on KFI. Um, yeah, her show on, on, yeah, her show on, on Sunday mornings is called um, Sunday Mornings with Elizabeth Espinosa. But you go on, but I went on the site, it, the show doesn't have no name. And she calls it that when, when she when she does when she's on a radio show. Um yeah. Okay. Your own show Oprah's Oprah's search for the next TV star. In this in December of twenty ten, she was one of the ten finalists to host a show on the Oprah Winfrey show as a contestant on your own your own show Oprah search for the next TV star she said she would like to host a show about learning disabilities her younger brother who who has who has a learning disability inspired her idea to host a, host a show Espinosa was eliminated in the 5th episode of the contest uh yeah. So yeah, um sound like she's doing some good things, um 
for a brother and, and, uh, and, uh, and things for the community in Los Angeles. But, you know, like everybody else, you know, yeah, she's doing all these good things, but at the same time, she bashes and tears down um, men in general. And you know, she does. I mean, she rips men apart, you know, and she just, yeah, and Elizabeth Espinosa, she's very fake and she's very plastic, like, you know. She's not authentic. She's not down to earth. She's probably not easy to talk to either, you know, because she's because she's part of that lifestyle in Los Angeles. You know, Los Angeles is very is very fast paced. It's it, it's very fast paced, and it's like rush, 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 rush. Get to work. Get to school. Get to work. Get to school. School work. School work. School work. Yeah, that's that's and that's that's that explains the entire United States as a whole. And yeah, I listen to a radio show. I used to listen to a radio show on Sundays on um on KFI AM six forty. I, I listened to it on um the iHeart Radio app on my um Samsung Gal Galaxy three Android internet tablet. Um Yeah, um She just basically just talk about, you know, what's going on in Los Angeles, um if if the Academy Awards is happening, she'll talk about that. I think a lot of you don't care about the Academy Awards, you know. The Oscars is basically a bunch of celebrities like kissing each other's asses and smelling each other's other's farts, you know, and dressing up nice. Yeah. And Elizabeth Espinosa like. Is is her? I mean, her and everybody in Los Angeles who are who are just poor, average people. Some of them, they think they they think they're they're like they're like the celebrities. They think they're like those A list celebrities. And it's kind of funny, really. Like, yeah, going back to her show, um, she just um well she just I mean just one segment was one part of the show I listened to that I didn't like, and she was talking about um. People who who are losing weight um, take this pill. She talked. She said this. Um, people who lose weight who who take this pill think this think think this. Um, if I take this pill, it's gonna make me super skinny. And she said no, no. She she said no, no. Um, you have to. I mean, you have to accept growing old. You got to grow old, gain a lot of weight, and get fat, and just and just and just age gracefully. Um, she wasn't be a little more open on this. It's like this. Um, oh, these pills. I don't know what she's talking about. I think these weight loss pills. Actually, um, yeah, they're they're for like you you take them to help you lose weight. I mean, we it's just for people who exercise and who who have who have trouble um losing a lot of weight. You know, they want to be all fat and overweight, and they want to lose weight and and just be lean and f and fit lean and physically fit, you know, and that's, in, yeah, that's what it's for, I mean, but you really don't have to, like, take these, like, like, these, these, these weight loss pills, like, you know, all you can do just is do some, just do some straight up normal exercise and just, just eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and just eat healthy and stay away from a lot of bread and a lot of, um, high foods that are, that are high in calories they're high in fat, they're high in sugar and high in cholesterol, um, processed foods, fried foods, um, candy, soda with a lot of uh, that it contains like high fructose corn syrup and sugar. Um, you know, yeah, stay away from stuff like that and just just eat like healthier foods like lean meats and just eat a lot of uh eat just eat a lot of um fruits and vegetables and just drink mostly water. Yeah, stay away from soda and stay away from um fruit punch and and fruit juices that contain a lot of sugar, aka high fructose corn syrup. Stay away from that and you will keep the weight off. 
Yeah, I'm, you don't need to take one of those weight loss pills. You don't. And, you know, now I think um, Elizabeth Espinosa, I think she doesn't like talk about stuff like that on her show. I mean, I listen to her show. She never talks about stuff like this. She just talk about all oh, she talk about bashing people who try to make it in, into the into the entertainment industry of Hollywood, Los Angeles, and she just bashes people who can't make it. I don't know, like yeah. So you know. So yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's not a good person all around. She got a dark side, and she does, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, she just like, you know, she just puts down people who, who struggle, who want to lose weight and want to exercise. It's ordinary people, you know. She just like, she just, she, I mean, she just like um John and Ken, Gary and Shannon, and Bill Handel. I mean, she's no different from them. I mean, basically, she just, I mean, basically, she just like a, she just like a gentler, kinder version of the, of these people. On that on that radio station, you know. Um. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Elizabeth Espinosa. She just. She's a goofy woman. She's goofy and just silly. And she is. You know. She been overseas to other countries. I mean, I heard. I mean, I heard um, she went to. Um, I think she went to Spain. I guess Spain or those other some other country in Europe. Yeah, she's well traveled, but she's not well um, educated because you know, when I went overseas, you know, I went overseas and how life overseas is kind of changed me and. Add that in with Winston Wu's "I'm Happier Abroad." I mean, it changed me greatly. But Elizabeth Espinosa, I mean, she went overseas, but you know, she still consumes. She still possesses this um, this mindset of how how people are in America. I mean, it didn't go away. I mean, and and she didn't look at Winston Wu's "I'm Happier Abroad" site. I mean. I mean, if she takes a look at Winston Wu's Happier Bra site, like, you know, she could probably gonna call this, she's probably gonna call Winston Wu a nutcase and a weirdo and a freak and a pervert or something like this. And I heard she's single. Yeah, you know, and what bothered me about her, like, she, she, she talked about on a radio show that, that she went to the park. And, um, and there was a kid that was lost. She went and grabbed the kid and looked for her parents and um and, and brought brought and reunited the kid with, 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 with the parents. Yeah, and like and I look at this like, you know, if if I was a guy and I did that, like they'll they'll call me a pedophile or a pervert and say, Oh, get away from me, you creep, freak, weirdo. Oh, he's dangerous. Like that didn't even happen. I mean, Elizabeth Espinosa didn't even go through any of that. At all, well, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, I look at this woman. This woman's full of it. She's goofy. She's silly. She just, you know, she just, she's, she's, she's stuck in the box. She doesn't know any better, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I can go, I can go to any state in America and a, and ask them who Elizabeth Espinosa is, and they'll and they'll probably look at me and say, Elizabeth Espinosa, who's that? I mean, they probably don't know who she is. Like, yeah, there's some people in other states of America who probably know who she is because you know they got the um, 
iHeartRadio app on their devices and they can listen they can listen to um they can listen to Elizabeth Espinosa they can listen they probably they probably listen to Elizabeth Espinosa on their through that iHeartRadio app and I think it was I think I heard about on uh, on Elizabeth's um radio show on Sundays um dub um by me um Sunday mornings with Elizabeth Espinosa uh, she talked about someone from New Zealand listens listens to her and she dubbed it um um Sunday nights with Elizabeth Espinosa because well it's Sunday morning in Los Angeles and it's Sunday night in New Zealand so yeah Uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so um, that's and so yeah um, that's all I gotta say about Elizabeth Espinosa um, I don't listen to her anymore she's kind of annoying and oh yeah by the way um, I just forgot this um she was bashing and making fun of um grown men in San Diego who who was who was who was crying about um who was crying about um the San Diego Chargers leaving San Diego and 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 heading up and heading up Interstate Five to Los Angeles because um yeah the, the Chargers left San Diego because um I think the mayor um Kevin Faulkner. And the politicians there um wouldn't build them a bigger stadium and um and Qual Qualcomm Stadium just wasn't just wasn't cutting it and they were complaining I think the owner of the Chargers was complaining about that and um they did nothing to us so the Chargers gave everybody in San Diego the big F U and headed north to Los Angeles to join the to join the Rams. So Los Angeles has the Rams who just left St. Louis and came back to LA and Yeah, they and the Chargers joined them, so Los Angeles has two NFL teams. And yeah, um <laughs> so yeah. And um Elizabeth Espinosa was making oh go, go oh, yeah, Elizabeth Espinosa was making fun of this guy these men in, in San Diego who were Chargers fans were crying I think they were sad because well I don't know if they were crying or not they were sad because um the Chargers left and, and Elizabeth Espinosa bashed and bashed them and saying that they're a bunch of crybabies and said that oh men oh men um oh men said that women women run on emotion run on emotion and men run on logic uh, men are emotion too. They cry like they cry too, and I think she just bashed men. It was just disgusting, really. You know, shows me some. This woman is not all good at all. Yeah, and you know, again, again, yeah. I don't listen to this woman. And, you know, I watch some YouTube videos on this woman, like. She was in a car with some guy and she was acting like she was she was just big shot a a list celebrity and she just some local yoko in Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean I mean her fame her fame in LA just it's it, it just nothing more. It just it just went over like a fart in church. Yeah, like and she's not she's not this big famous household name <laughs> and I think everybody I think everybody in Los Angeles thinks like this I don't know I, well some people do some people don't like they think they're LA they think they're Hollywood yeah cuz cuz they live in the midst of Hollywood and you know <laughs> Hollywood a, a Hollywood yeah a place where um we're all we're all the crappy shitty movies come out bunch of remakes like i mean 
I I just I just I just I just watched a, a trailer for another um Fast and the Furious movie. I mean, I didn't catch the name of it. And I'm sick of these Fast and the Fast and the Furious um remakes. Like, I mean, sequels. I mean, I mean, they got enough sequels as it is. It's crazy. I mean, I watched the first Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah, and, and I have the movie on DVD. Like. And then all the and, and all these re and all these sequels to Fast and the Furious, like Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and the Furious, Furious, Tokyo Drip, Furious Seven, and so on and so on and so on. And then I just looked online. Um, they were gonna make they want to make a female um re remake of The Mask, the movie that that starred Jim Carrey. I see my this book. Yeah, it's, it's, <sighs> yeah. Hollywood's a joke. Yeah, I think the I think the writers had ran out of ideas. I mean, they just folk. I mean, I remember having a conversation with with some employee at um Best Buy in Shreveport, Louisiana, over this. Like, he was a nice guy, and I told him about how much the movies suck nowadays. And he said that well. They just focus on special effects too much, and they just do a lot of remakes over and over. They do a lot of remakes of of old movies that have been out. Yeah, I was talking to him while I was while I was buying some two movies, um, one on Blu-ray and the other on DVD. I mean, I bought um, I bought the double Blu-ray set of of, of Bad Boys, on um, Bad Boys and Bad Boys Two, and um, also on DVD, um. White men can't jump. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, those movies right there are a million times better than the crap Hollywood is putting out today. So yeah. So anyway, um, Elizabeth Espinosa is a clown. She's silly. She's goofy. She's full of it. She thinks she's an A-list celebrity. She thinks she's all that. So yeah, you know, it, it takes a guy like Winston Wu to knock her down and bring her back to reality and tell her what, what she really is. Someone who's just stuck in the some someone who's just um stuck in the box, clueless, don't have any idea what's going on. And it says here about her, um, she had I mean, she, she received a bachelor's bachelor's of science degree from UCLA, you know, you know, and that that doesn't mean anything. I mean, she's not that smart anyway. I mean, I listen to how this woman talks. She's not that smart at all. Like you know, she's dumber than a box of bricks. I mean. It's like this, like everybody in America, you know, they, they they got all these they got all these college college degrees and university degrees and and a and a piece of paper that they received from some old ass man and or an old ass woman at a high school or college. I mean, they have all of these and they're and, and they're dumb as shit. They're idiots. I mean and they're under, under an edge and they and they got their education from from an education system of America that's a joke you know you know and, and Elizabeth and Elizabeth Espinosa's um brother even though he has a learning disability or he had, or or he's autistic like this guy's on I mean this guy's probably like like more with it and more smarter than it than his than his non disabled sister. Like really, I mean if I was Elizabeth Espinosa's sister's brother and she acts the way she acts and uh, and she sticks her face she sticks her face in my face and have her mouth open and blowing her breath on me just a just a just to be playful with me, I'll turn around and smack that 
smack the taste out of that bitch's mouth. Well, that's all I got to say. Um, this video probably isn't going anywhere. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Later.